Hi everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2020 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 7. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 7. Okay, this is question 7 and this question has two methods to solve it. And I'll be going through method 1 right now and method 2 later in this video. So the method 1 is using model method. Okay, let's read the question first. Lucy had an equal number of gold and gold stars and silver stars. Okay, she gave 26 gold stars and 14 silver stars to Maggie. She gave the remaining stars to Nick. Nick was given one gold star for every three silver stars. How many stars did Lucy have at first? Okay, so this is the question and let's highlight the key information first. So Lucy has an equal number of gold stars, right? So equal number of gold stars and silver stars. She, which is Lucy, gave 26 gold stars and 14 silver stars to Maggie. Okay, so let me underline Maggie. 14 silver and 26 gold. This is equal number. After that, she gave the remaining stars to Nick. So, remaining. Gave the remaining to Nick. Okay. Nick was given one gold star for every three silver stars. Okay. So, this is really important. Nick was given one gold star for every three silver star. So, it's one equals to three. How many stars did Lucy have at first? So they're asking us at first. So this is Lucy, I'm not Maggie or Nick. It's this girl Lucy. Okay. First, I'm going to write down the ratio for Maggie. Okay. Maggie is 26 is to 14 for the ghost, gold and silver. But then for Nick, it's 1 equals to 3. 1 gold star is equal to 3 silver stars for him. So let's draw a model from here, okay? So we know that both of them are equal parts, right? And we know that Nick was given one gold star for every three silver stars. So this is Nick. All these units is Nick. So let me just write N, 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 and N. And this 26 is Maggie. So let me write M. 14 is also Maggie. M. Okay? So... Nick was given one gold star for every three silver stars. Okay? So I hope you understand this. And Maggie has 26 gold stars and 14 silver stars. Okay? After this, I'm going to form an equation. Do you know why? Because when we take... Look at this. I'm going to draw a line. And then you will see for yourself. You can visualize now, right? After I've drawn the line, you can see that 2 units is equal to 26 minus 14, right? Yeah, so 2 units is 2 units plus 14 is basically 26. So 2 units should be 26 minus 14, right? Because this positive sign, when you bring it over, it will become a minus sign. So it's minus 14, which will give us 12. And so 1 unit is equal to 12 divided by 2, which will give us 6. And this is next goal star. And then if we want to find uh, Lucy, right, we have to find 3 units first, which is Nick's silver star, which is 18. After that, we can add up all of them together. So instead of 1 equals to 3, I'm going to write 6 here and 18 here. Okay? So basically, we just need to add them all up. So 26 plus 14 plus 6 plus 18. So total star Maggie plus 6, right? So it's basically 26 plus 14 plus 6 plus 18 which will give us 40 plus 24, which is 64. So 64 is the answer, okay? So I hope you understand the model method. Now let's move on to the next method. So this is the same question with method 2, okay? I'm going to use units and parts. Okay, let me just quickly highlight the same thing again so that we can reference. Maggie, she gave the remaining star to Nick. Nick was given one gold star for every three silver star. How many stars did Lucy have at first? Okay. So, first I'm going to write down gold is to silver. Okay. 
So we know that it's one unit is to one unit because it's an equal number, right? So I'm just going to write one unit is to one unit. So in order to find Lucy having at first, right, we need to find two units in total. After that, we minus off the Maggie, okay? 26 and 14. So it will give us one part and three parts because one go for every three silver, right? So I'm just going to write it as one part is to three part, okay? Because we do not know how much is it. After this, we can form an equation that 1 unit minus 26 is equal to 1 part and 1 unit minus 14 is equal to 3 parts. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So we know that this is larger, right? 3 parts is larger, right? So I'm going to take equation 2 minus equation 1. So 2 minus 1, equation 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 part minus 1 part, okay? Which will give us 1 unit minus 14 minus 1 unit minus 26 which will give us the one unit to cancel out, right? The one unit cancel out. So it's basically negative 14 minus minus 26. Okay? So negative 14 minus negative 26. So basically, um, see when there's two minus beside each other, right? It actually turned into a plus. So it's basically two parts is equal to negative 14 plus 26. Okay? which will give us 12. So now we find one part. So one part is basically 12 divided by 2, which is 6. Okay? After this, I'm going to use this equation 1, right? Instead of having it 1p is equal to 1 unit minus 26, right? I'm going to find for one unit now. So one unit is equal to 1p plus 26. Okay? So this is how you get it. So in order to find one unit, we know that 1p is 6. So let me just substitute. 1p with 6. So it's 6 plus 26, right? Just like I said just now, which will give us 32. So 32 is 1 unit. And we know that at first, Lucy at first is 1 unit plus 1 unit, which is basically gold plus silver, which is 1 unit plus 1 unit, which will give us 32 plus 32, because 32 is 1 unit, right? So I hope you understand. So in order to find 2 units, it's basically 32 plus 32 which will give us 64 as the answer. And if you rewind back, you'll still see 64 as the answer for this question. So there are actually two methods to solve this question and maybe more, okay? So I hope you understood my explanation for this, this question, the two methods, okay? The model method and the units and parts, okay? So thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!